fast access to disaster areas is vital, but often first responders, firefighters and medical teams have difficulty getting into damaged buildings and in locating victims. This was the case after Hurricane Irene last year. So Seth Teller and his team at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology developed a robot which creates a three-dimensional map. The robot can be carried by a single person and it will then relay an accurate image of precisely what that person is seeing to the rest of the team. The sensor rig and the algorithms we've developed would, would map the site automatically. The explorer could add verbal comments or uh, textual information to the map as it was being created and that map could be automatically shared with the other team members over a wireless link even while the exploration was happening. Emergency workers need freedom of movement, especially when running through disaster zones, and previous designs couldn't respond when it came to measuring distances. So the Human Vest sensor platform has accelerometers and gyroscopes which can deal with jerky movements. Uh, one of the challenges we have is knowing where the damage is and knowing where the need is. So we send teams out into the field to do what we call in the Red Cross disaster assessment and they assess where the damage is, what homes have been flooded, and being able to send real-time information in the form of video or pictures and locations tied to those video and pictures uh, would really help our assessment of where we need to send resources to assist the people impacted. Emergency coordinators say that these gadgets could make a vast difference in any future disaster zones.